All right, so we're going to shave Ellie. She is a hairy, hairless Chinese crested, so she has a lot of hair. Um, I like to shave her at least once a week. If it gets really busy, once every two weeks. Um, I like to use this AGC um, Andis plug-in shaver. It's got two speeds. Um, and then I also have a 40 blade. So it cuts almost to the skin. And then I also use, for her face and ears, I use the Braun S5. I just got this one. I don't like it as much as I like my other one, but this one, which is the Braun, let's see, S3, I think cut her hair better or their hair better, but um, they've redesigned this model and I had it for a couple of days and I didn't like it. So I took it back. I thought I'd get this one, but I don't like this one as much either. So I don't know what I'm going to do now, but anyway. So I'm gonna, I have um, her hair. I'm just gonna pull her mane back and I have not done anything. We haven't given a bath or anything yet. So um, I always start with my clipper. I always make sure that my clippers are clean. Um, usually wipe them off with alcohol before I use them because I have two other Chinese crested dogs that I use them on. So I don't wanna get any skin infections by using dirty blades, but you can see how good this clipper cuts her hair. And I kind of just go to where her, um, where I've got her lines from the last time, um, like her little ankle would be right here. And I just go right above that. And I like to take these legs and kind of angle them a little bit. I don't go straight across. Um, the front legs I will go straight across for. But you can see how nice this clipper cuts her hair. And it's very fast. And while I'm trimming her hair, I pull her skin forward. I'm just pulling her mane back and going right behind the shoulder blades is where I stop. I'm going to go angle that blade a little bit. And this 40 um, blade, I did have to order extra. It does not come with your, with your clipper. And you can also do this with your electric one or your plug-in razor, but I just like this one. I think it works way better. Super fast. Um, and it cuts, this blade cuts their hair just as short, if not shorter than the, in this, so. So for the front of her hair and her legs, I've got probably two thumb lengths up from her ankle here. There, you, you can leave your boots as long as, or as tall as you want. I prefer them kind of in the middle of her leg. And you always want to make sure that they're even, so kind of just look. And they look pretty even. Just keep the um, hair on the bottom of the paw pad, or the, yeah, the pads here short. So now I've got her body trimmed up um, and her legs. I see I missed a spot here, so I'm gonna take my little razor, this one, shave it up, and then I'm gonna do her face. I usually go from the corner of the eye and I go down, and then I'll go straight across her nose just to square off this nose a little bit.
and it has been about two weeks since I've cut her hair, so her hair is a little longer than usual. Getting rid of the whiskers. And she will fight me a little bit here also. But this side. to the corner of the eye. Square that nose off real good. And then go underneath the chin. Pull that back. Pull her skin back a little bit. Quit now. I got her face shaved up with this. I'm gonna go to the ears, put my fingers inside, pushing out on the ear, going with the way that the hair is growing. And then also gonna do the same thing on the back or the inside of the ear. Careful not to trim her the long hairs there. And then I'm gonna switch blades from this blade to my foil razor. And I'm gonna shape up her face a little bit better. I sometimes will do their body with the foil razor too, but with me having several <laughs> Chinese crusteds uh, that need haircuts. So I kind of have been slacking off on that, but. So I just got done using the foil razor on her face and I'm gonna go back to the ears now. Just trimming it, making it look nice and even. Getting her hair out of the way. Careful, so I'm not gonna cut her ear. All right, so now would be the time where she doesn't have acne um, or blackheads too bad, but my other crested does he gets blackheads really bad so at this point I would put some coconut oil on him and that helps um, loosen up the the blackheads on their skin her she does have a little bit of acne on her elbows <clears throat> and some on her knees but it's not bad so I'm not going to do anything with her today um, just kind of making sure I got my lines good and then I'm going to trim her toenails, which she absolutely hates. And then we are gonna go get in the shower. All right, so now I got her in the shower. And I used um, basically the same kind of products that I would on my own hair. I used um, Pantene shampoo and then we'll rinse that out and I'll do conditioner. Um, I got this body shampoo uh, from my vet's office. It's called Dermabins. Um, it is awesome for flushing the, the pores. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and it's conditions, um, degreases, it's really good. So anyway, I definitely recommend um, looking for something like this at your vet's office. It just helps, definitely helps with their skin. 
and then I have my little glove that I exfoliate them with. And I also um, make sure that I, every time I give them a shower or a bath, that we express the anal glands. Um, some dogs definitely fill up a little bit faster than others. There's seem to fill up fairly fast, so I always um, express the anal blends while I'm in here. And with this Derma Bin shampoo, um, I, it's supposed to sit on the skin for 10 minutes, so I always put that on first, scrub it in really good. This is just the Pantene Smooth and Sleek. Grab her up really good. And while we're doing everything else, I just let that um, Dermabend sit on their skin. And then I take my little scrubby glove here. I got that at Walgreens for like $2, I think. And I just Scrub their skin, concentrating on like with her, where her elbows and her knees are, where she does get a little bit of acne. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh, she's not that dirty compared to Cash. When I give Cash a bath, my glove is like black, but with her it's not so bad. So now I still got that shampoo in. I am going to rinse this, rinse everything off. So now I'm doing my conditioner. I like that to sit in her hair for a little bit because it helps get her tangles out. Do my derma bends again. Shake it up really good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it sit on her skin for a few more minutes. I'm going to exfoliate. All right, so now I'm, I've let this soap sit in her hair for a couple of minutes. I'm um, going to rinse her off, and then we are going to be done. So now I've got her out. This is probably the best thing that I've bought off of Amazon in my entire life. If you um, give your dogs a bath regularly like I do, I think I paid $15 for it. It goes up and down, so you can adjust it to your length, but it holds the hair dryer, obviously, so you have both hands for free. And it works amazing. her blow dried pretty good um and I like to pull her hair like Cash's hair I kind of part it down the middle but her she's a girl so she's got to have it pulled to the side and I do I've been doing that since she was a baby um I kind of just got her hair trained to lay that way um so it just takes some doing to get it to stay, but it does, for the most part, stay out of her eyes. And then I also, to help it stay out of her eyes, I've just put a little bit of lotion on my fingers and kind of grease it down a little bit. And then I put some lotion on her face. And I just use a Vino. This is um, fragrance free. This is the exact same lotion that I use on my face every day. Um, it works really good. I like it. Seems to help not give them as much acne. I've tried other lotions in the past. This one's my favorite. Um, I just rub her down really good. Get a little bit of lotion in her tail so the tail kind of sits a little bit better not weighed down too much but just a little bit just take whatever I've got left in my hands and kind of 
and then I fluff out her boots. She knows she's about done, so. <laughs> yep, and that's it. That is how I take care of our Chinese crested skin and hair. If you have any questions about any of the products or any of the stuff that I've used on our tutorial today, leave a comment in the comments below. Thanks for watching.